The digital skin class is essentially about that we train our students to become designers that could be good for society at large and to really think about how design could improve our lives and create better experiences for us. So every single student and the piece that each student has made in some way either connects with the body in a new way or creates a new connection with the space around it, both physically, socially and philosophically. This course is different because we get also feedback from professors from the MIT, which have a completely different approach and a different background because of their laboratories and machines they can use. And we benefit from this different perspective on our projects and it empowers us to try things that we wouldn't do usually in our fashion courses. Each of our students is trying to combine their knowledge that they have experienced in their bachelor's and the first master semester with the input we get now. So there's a huge variety between all of our projects and all of them try to serve a different purpose. The collaboration with Hetteve in Berlin and MIT Architecture formed a new kind of class that is very interdisciplinary in the sense of combining fashion and technology to build um, interactive intelligent skin. And it means that we are using kind of the idea of skin as a dynamic material to build new relationship with product, with wearables, with our own environment, or even larger scale of how we can embed material properties in a dynamic way. One thing that makes this course really unique is blending HATV and Hussein and the studio there with MIT is really a brilliant mix of pushing the boundaries in a field or creatively thinking different about both fashion and technology. The students are developing their project from an early idea to prototyping to a final piece, a final garment or installation. So, you know, they have to go through the whole design process and come from an idea all the way to reality. What's unique here is probably the prototyping on a design and technology relationship and how do you push beyond just creating something that may look like what you were imagining or might tell a certain story but actually functions and test something that's a new technology that they may not have been comfortable with before. When a student of this project comes up to me with any crazy ideas, we will meet in a DigiDoc and then I will encourage them to follow their dreams and ideas. I think collaborations like the one we are having with the MIT are very enriching for the students. Asking someone actually working in the industry always helps to explore new things so having no limits in the conduction of the course might be challenging, but actually it encourages having a hands-on attitude to the students about facing problems and finding solutions how to solve them. For example, uh, Professor Skylar Tibbetts uh, is the one who is sometimes giving us references from uh, previous projects that they made that could help us to create a prototype, showing us different uh, angles, different perspectives, maybe sometimes making the work um, a little bit easier for us to implement it, coming up with more low-tech solutions that could help us realize the project faster somehow. I want my piece to be a reminder uh, for people to not take themselves so seriously, uh, to goof around, to enjoy themselves, to be ridiculous. I think we need to be more ridiculous. 
the goal of my project is to relieve the body from pain. While wearing this garment and moving the massage beads, you can relax certain areas in the body in exactly the way you need it at this moment. This project involves students who build a collective of diversity. They share an open mind and an interest for innovation, but also keep their passion for abstract work, maybe even philosophical ideas, expressing all of that not only in textile, but creating fully designed fashion items that are made for the future. The factor of sensory is very important in this project as well as to my work and creating curiosity in people viewing the piece, wondering how it works. This is actually a fashion course we're on, but the point is to actually not make it be solely a fashion project. So for me it was important that the students can think beyond clothes I think here the challenge is to really help each project be its best. 